Tuck it in between Victory Monument area and the Siam Paragon, Siam Center, the big commercial center of Bangkok. There is this kind of alley, it's called Pet Buri Soy 5. And that way there is Pet Buri Soy 10. And the main road is called Pet Buri, very busy and trafficked area. Very good for the street food, authentic kind of street food places, old Bangkok kind of feeling to it. The electricity cables, all these cables that run over your head. Apparently they are planning to just re completely remove them, which is fine because they're Insane. My concern is that yeah. this is what makes Bangkok you know, have that kind of old feeling. Right? You can't replicate. So I would probably say just leave the electricity cables where they are. Then at some point something catch your eyes and kind of want to try grilled chicken. But it looks so good. One of the most beautiful things is that things are so cheap here. I just don't know which one is 15, which one is 10. Yeah, 10, 15 <laughs> per skewer. Look at the skewer, they are amazing. 10 baht is nothing. I mean, maybe it's nothing for people who come from the EU, but... It should be the breast part. The breast, yeah. Yeah. The breast part. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's got a variety of things. I think some of these things are like liver, intestine, is that correct? Yeah. 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 So we're pretty much going for the traditional stuff. I'm gonna try one of this and one of the legs. Is this actually the wing? Oh, the wing, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna pass them on the grill just to make them nice and hot. Before we feast and enjoy the atmosphere. It's difficult to not be romantic when you come to a, such an old kind of Bangkok LA. And part of the fun is coming here at night, in the evening, when the only light provided is that one coming from the food stalls. That's really you know, the enjoyment of it. There's 60 baht for four, four sticks. Nice. Four sticks for 50 baht. That looks pretty awesome. But it might be spicy. Can you? Can I handle the spices? I can. You can, right? I can. Obviously, the guy from Taiwan is concerned about <laughs> my, no, no, no. my tolerance to spice. I think I'm going to be fine. So I'm just putting the sauce in the... Actually, inside it. So there. So I just put the sauce, <laughs> it's like squirting some shit, yeah. <laughs> oh damn, it's trapped. Yeah. Usually they eat it with the vegetable stuff, but you can just eat it as is. I think this is my chicken breast, isn't it? It is. This is in, indeed my chicken breast, already drenched in the spice. I think it's a spicy sauce, what is this? I think it's a spicy sauce. Um, it's really, really nice, juicy chicken, skin on, as I like it. It's like a sausage, but it's like a whole thing. Mm, that must be pork sausage, yeah? Yeah, it is. It's sour. <laughs> sour. But this chicken is really, really amazing. Like I'm, Food carts don't have like, any sitting area, so I said you can find some restaurants, but you're gonna pretty much walking and eating, which is fine. It's just normal barbecue, wings. Okay. That looks nice. I also got a wing, which is a part that I prefer in the chicken. Looks nice and char grilled. We are standing in the middle of the street. It's pretty hectic. <laughs> like people are passing with scooters and stuff. There's not much space. But it's all part of the enjoyment. It's the beauty of, of Thailand. You see, 10 baht, you get juicy, this kind of level of juicy chicken. And stuff. You can also find cats sleeping, and you can feed them if you want. And I've seen some crispy pork soup. It's like the, just the soup with the blood of the pork. There's <laughs> tamu, well, crispy pork, yeah. Like, Sai mukok, right? Yeah, you can put it. Some shops obviously have got their inside kind of area. And we're gonna sit down here to enjoy some soup with crispy pork belly. Crispy pork belly is actually one of the things that I love about Thailand. I don't 
seem to be able to find that in Europe at all. And for every soup kind of place, you've got your condiments as well. And pickled vinegar, vinegar, chili powder, sugar, and then pepper. Sugar. And then I never put sugar. Like I don't see the point. But you've got fish sauce, like very strong kind of smell and taste. Why is that? Oh, this is onion. Spring onion. Yeah. Spring onion. Yeah. Definitely gonna put some chili in there. Chili flakes. Oh, actually, chili powder. Okay. And two glass with ice for the water. It's a very unique atmosphere for someone who comes from Europe. The setup of the restaurant is completely different. So you've got the kitchen, which is actually outside of the restaurant. And it's just to attract people. You know, usually you've got the kitchen being far away inside. And Carla's got like a plate of rice and different cups. This is pork. This is like the red meat. Like they yeah. call it mudeng and translate to red meat and then yeah. sausage. Chinese sausage. Yeah. And some and sauce. Sauce, right? yeah. I think it's like peanut sauce. I can smell the sesame there. Just normal soy sauce for that. And normally when you order this, they usually give soup. It's a free soup. Oh, is that pork broth soup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, both of it's not even 100 baht, I think. Two, two dishes. Not really, like, not even 100 baht. It's like really, really cheap. Right? You don't have noodles there, right? That's just no, soup. no, no. Okay, just, okay. Just, just, this, just the clear soup. But you see, it contains a little bit of, let's say, crispy pork. But also, probably some other parts of the cow. There is uh, blood as well. Some greens inside, like probably cabbage or lettuce. It looks like lettuce as well. Spring onions, I think. It looks really nice. And it's usually what I like to do is to taste the broth first without necessarily putting anything else. And then we're gonna add things as, as feels necessary. I'm not even sure I'm gonna add anything. I'm probably gonna add some spice, but. That's gonna be about it. Yeah, we approve, yeah? <laughs> A little bit spicy. We're so up for the heat. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was so happy when I actually discovered that I can tolerate very well the heat. And that's because, oh, yeah, I was kind of scared you know, before coming to Thailand. I've never been in Asia, so you never know. But, you know, I'm actually pretty good. I'm gonna start having heat cups as usual, but it's fine. I can tolerate. I need. I really need to try this uh, crispy pork belly. I'm gonna get some greens with it as well. The crispy pork belly of Thailand. There's kind of a three layer in a kind of bits of crispy pork belly. The top layer, there's the fat in the middle, and there is the lean meat. Usually put it as well. I have to soak it a bit so that it's gonna be... Thank you. Okay, Carl is being very kind and is adding some red meat. <laughs> some red meat to my, to my soup. I'm not sure what actually makes this thing red. They, it's like they color it. Or, I don't know, it's maybe some, some kind of ingredients that makes it red. But. Have you tried a Chinese sausage before? Have you? Not really. So, Carla is gonna offer me a little bit of Chinese sausage. You, you normally don't put it in the soup, so you not just in have the to soup. eat it yeah. as it is. Chinese sausage. Um, looks very lean. There's not much mm. fat in this thing. Very interesting. Mm. It's sweet. Isn't it? Yeah. They put it in a salad as well. It's really good. First time Chinese sausage. Lots of umami flavor in this soup. <clears throat> and, you know, don't be scared in Thailand to go for, you know, the more unusual types of meat, like organs, intestines and stuff. This is all part of the, the experience. I think we've got a little bit of belly, like intestines, liver, lung. I can surely see the lung here. Obviously, these parts will have a more irony kind of taste, the liver, the lung, they've got an iron taste. But they've been very, also very generous with the greens. Oh. Almost get run over.
the durian. Oh, I think I finally I found my octopus. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of octopus skewers. When you have chosen your two octopus skewers, you put them on the grill, and that's how you decide. And you show your decisiveness in wanting the octopus. Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Yeah. Pack, pack. You, got, you get the option of a sweet sauce and a spicy sauce, but I think we're gonna go with the spicy one. Capon cap. Grilled squid with um, some dripping uh, spicy sauce. You can't get squid or fish in general for cheap in the UK, EU, or even in America, I suppose. You kind of need to go in a restaurant. There's no way you can grab some grilled squid from the streets. So this always feels nice. Let's enjoy some exotic fruit. This is dragon fruit. It tastes pretty sweet. Um, pretty big bag, like just for 20 bucks. Oh, it's actually not that sweet, really. And almost like a kiwi. Yeah, it feels like a kiwi in texture as well. 